Well, you've finally done it. You've run out of videos to watch and now you found yourself scraping the bottom of the proverbial motorcycle vlog barrel. That's me and about a million other wannabe YouTubesters whose name don't happen to rhyme with clammy boob. Well, however you found yourself here, I do appreciate you sticking around past the 30 second mark. And while I got you here, why not take a look at some of the coolest, most unique custom motorcycle makers in America. Since I'm a total hipster owner of a Triumph, we're going to start with one of the coolest builders out there, British Customs from sunny California. Strictly speaking, they aren't exactly manufacturers. What they are, are highly skilled customizers, specializing in upgrading and remolding your existing Triumph motorcycles. Whether you've got a Thruxton, a Bonneville, a Street Twin, or even an occasional Ducati Scrambler, chances are they've got a design that's just right for you. And that's on top of a flourishing specialized parts ecosystem that you can use to customize your bike in the safety of your own garage and without breaking the bank. Even though they are a little more commerce forward with their builds taking a back seat to their online store, their bike building skills can't easily be dismissed. Texas owned Revival Cycles also have a banging online and retail stores, in addition to their custom motorcycle fabrication business. And whereas British Customs primarily focuses on, you guessed it, British motorcycles, Revival's builds are dictated by their customers and whatever bikes they want customized or built. And while most custom shops are anonymous by default, Revival is centered around the very charming and super chill Alan Stolberg. Who has taken his shop from its humble beginnings in 2008 to a global brand and created one of the best custom motorcycle shows out there in Revival's hand-built motorcycle show. Roland Sands is not just a company, it's also the name of its founder, a former racer who set multiple track records around the world and was the 1998 American Motorcyclist Association 250 GP champion. But after suffering multiple broken bones over the years, Roland had traded in his racing gear for designing and customizing motorcycles. Much like Revival Cycles and British Customs, Roland Sands Design is not just a builder of motorcycles, but a full-fledged business specializing in parts, gears, and accessories as well. And the bikes? Only one word can describe the builds. Stunning. The builder has become so popular that scores of celebrities are seen riding around on their custom bikes, including Brad Pitt, who you can catch on his street tracker Ecosse in the latest DeLonghi Global commercial. If your passion for motorcycles intersects with your love of movies like John Wick and The Matrix, or video games like Cyberpunk 2077, you may be aware of Arch Motorcycles. And if you're still wondering what could possibly connect all of those things together, well, it's this guy. Around 2007, Keanu Reeves commissioned custom builder Guard Hollinger to customize a Harley Davidson motorcycle. Out of that relationship, a partnership was born, and so was Arch Motorcycles. And while all the builders I'd mentioned so far primarily customize existing motorcycles, this is the first one that's actually manufacturing three consistent models. Yeah, they're not cheap, but neither are any of the other custom builds. And hell, just, just look at them. But okay, if cheap is what you want, let's get into the next builder. On the less expensive side of things, but no less cool looking, we have Cleveland Cycle Works. They too have several distinct, albeit small displacement models for sale. And if you want something that looks like a Triumph Thruxton or BMW R9T without breaking the bank, maybe you should give them a try. The team purchases their parts from manufacturers in China and Taiwan and assembles the bikes in the States. But here's where we run into a small problem. While the company used to have a distribution network around the United States, they've closed it down in favor of selling them directly to the customers. That in and of itself is not the issue. 
The problem lies in the fact that, seemingly, you can no longer do that from their website either. The prices are gone, and if you click on Order Your Bike, it takes you to a page that informs everyone that Cleveland Cycle Works is, in fact, up for sale. So as of right now, it doesn't really look like you can actually buy any of their cool-looking bikes. Though you can certainly try to buy the business itself. Another small displacement bespoke motorcycle maker is Janus Motorcycles, located in Indiana. And while Cleveland Cycle Works is stuck in some unknown nebulous state, Janus is very much an active manufacturer. But the coolest thing about Janus is the look of the bikes themselves. It's like they'd ridden through a time portal straight out of the early 1900s and into today. And with modern components and electronics, and the ability to endlessly customize each model, you have this crazy option of owning a bike that looks like a vintage Harley Davidson or bro, bra, bruff superior, however you say it. You can own a vintage bike without the hassle of having to fix them every time you pull out of the garage. Now that's pretty cool. Of course, there are plenty of other kick-ass fabricators and motorcycle makers out there that I didn't mention. So feel free to comment below and let me know who I missed. Maybe I'll do a part two, if you like this one. For now, I see the sun is breaking through the clouds outside and you know what that means.